So if I hit this, it will take me into Apple TV. Now, it's not logged in. This is one of the weird things. I have to keep logging in every time. And it will let me play. Absolutely. It'll let me play. It won't let me see my library yet. But I've been researching ways around this and it's a bit convoluted because at the bottom, if I ever get to the bottom, it doesn't start jumping up. It start jumping up. Right. Down here, it says you can do it on Google television. So fundamentally, you could install Waydroid on this. It's a bit convoluted and you could you could run the app because I can't see my library at the moment. I've made sure that in Chromium, I've switched on play protected content, which is one of the things it tells you to do. But I've got quite a few movies from there. So this is one thing that sort of I haven't cracked yet. I can get into I don't want to watch their stuff. I mean, so you can look. I mean, I, I bought F1 the movie, F1. I should be able to play it. So watch on Apple TV. So you click on that, opens something over here, and you into an endless loop. But you can play the um, the Apple TV stuff, like the their own Apple Plus stuff. You, oh, you can play that. I got that going earlier on. Hang on, let me just try it. To type, go in to do, to do it, but it doesn't remember my password. So yeah, that works. So you can play Apple TV Plus, but you can't play your movies. Now, I'm sure there's a way around that. I'm sure there's a way, as I said, with Waydroid or something like that, where you can um, launch the Apple TV app that's written for Google play store inside this but i haven't got to that yet but there must be a way around it but there should be a way in chromium because i'm going to check it you can't do it on a mac because it just jumps into apple tv there must be a way to go in i'm sure there is a windows to go in and play your library directly from the web thing which would be perfect because i mean this is just an ideal solution